hello YouTube, hello Big Child, hello Red Pill. And you ladies are not going to like what I am about to say. I am going to go in on American and Western women. Starting with the black community. The reason why the passport bros exist, why SYSD exists, is the fact that you're bossy, you don't take care of yourselves, you're over, you're literally, you're literally looking like men if you look like Lizzo and demanding that, that a man pay for your BS. You have multiple baby daddies, many of you have multiple baby daddies with multiple children and stuck on child support in a perpetual, perpetual poverty cycle. Now the ones that don't have multiple baby daddies or multiple kids by baby, multiple baby daddies and not stuck in a perpetual cycle of poverty are literally brainwashed by their own parents to, to, to not date black men because of the goddamn stereotypes. Even though they find a black man who's working their behind off to get exactly what he wants and needs in his life, but you are just so stuck on the fact that, hey, black men ain't worth a darn. Hey, guess what? You know what that does? That creates SYSPM and that creates the passport pros. So you ladies really have zero, zero meaning to get angry at black men who decide to date and get married somewhere else. So you go in and sit and spin. White ladies, first things foremost, when you don't get what you want, yeah, and this goes for all women, but I'm going to go on white women, white girls. First off, you're basic. Pumpkin spice, lattes, Uggs. You have zero personality. Yes, you may have, you may have a buddy. You may have tail end. You may have Chickens and chickens and and chickens and mules. And your you may have chickens on your chest and mules in your pants. But guess what? It does not mean nothing with with the uh, personality because you end up putting a nice guy in the friend zone. On top of that, you get railed by Chad. And you know you 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 are the you are probably one of the worst perpetrators perpetrators of this. When you meet a person that is that, that basically, because you fall into the same, oh, I'm going to believe the stereotype of every other race, you know, and you fetishize whatever it is. Latina, first things foremost, your family. Your family. For the most part, I'm not saying everybody, I'm just painting with a broad brush, with a broad brush, with a wide brush. I'm just painting with a goddamn old masonry brush, with a giant masonry brush. But you know, there's, there's paint, there's a small paintbrush, fine paintbrush, medium-sized paintbrush, painter's paint, a regular paintbrush. You're just painting a wall, roller brush, and then there's the masonry brush. I'm painting with a masonry brush. If you don't like it, oh well, I don't care. If you don't know what a masonry brush is, look in your local Home Depot. Go to your local Home Depot. Ask the Home Depot uh, representative, the customer support representative, where your masonry brush is. You'll know, you'll, they'll guide you to the brick and concrete section, and that is what I'm, and, and to the brush that has a large, has a handle and a large bristle, that bristle area, that is a masonry brush. That's what I'm painting with. That's what I am painting with. Now, for the most part, your family does not approve of black men. It is what it is. It is what it is. So basically, you're going to listen to your family and basically agree with them and go along with them. Same with every other race, but you're definitely more pre you and white people, white women are more prevalent for it. You know? Get a man's hopes up and then Crush them. Next is going to be the Asians. You play, you act like you don't speak English for the first place. But yes, we know. We, I know that. I know full well that you speak perfect English because you, it's taught to you in school. I don't, the only reason that I go along with it is because I don't want. I don't feel like fighting with you. I'm not gonna fight with you. I'm not gonna argue with you. 
gonna be a waste of energy, waste of my time, waste of whatever resources. So I'm just gonna let you do what you're gonna do. This is this only applies to Western countries. I'm going in on everybody. Why? Because I don't care. But back on the topic. You don't, you claim you don't speak English, but you sure do own a lot of stores in black neighborhoods, especially the nail salons. You expect, especially the nail salons, the massage parlor, and the corner stores. Help me, help you make that make sense to me. Did I miss anybody? The French. Well, first off, foremost, if you got out your little high class neighborhood, your little high-class neighborhood and actually got and explored and see what's going on in certain communities, you'd actually know that there probably are decent men, decent black men, decent men in general, you know? I, I didn't think I may have to make another video about this, saying that I'm equal opportunity on color coming out on Earth, but yes. So, on top of that, you're a Western country. I do res I do respect you actually striking and going on strike and collapsing your country, collapsing the bl Blackwater, Blackwater's economy. That takes courage right there to go after Blackwater. Mm. That takes courage. I think I think some other countries should take take a if they take a, the notes on that one. But hey, what do I know? But when you get here in America. Oh, you fall right into the right into the right in step with everybody else. Let's see, let's just see. Chinese. I mean the only the only reason you're not the worst is because black people don't black people hate each other, so you freely worship money and families say, seems to be second to you. Now I don't know what it's like in China, but I know in America. You basically express your dislike toward black Americans. Your disdain. I've met, like I said, as I said, as I say again, I am painting with a masonry brush. You know, not with a regular paintbrush. I'm painting with a masonry brush. Borderline a push broom. But you can't tell anybody else that. You can't tell nobody that because they won't believe, they won't listen. Japanese. Oh my goodness. When you get here, you're on uh, the college. You stuck and you stay in your college dorms, right? You stay in your college dorms. You stay. You, you literally. You are the perpetrator of saying I do not understand English. That and with the Middle Eastern, which basically they they at least they at least are honest whenever they say they're you're not too they're not too fun. You know. People from Iraq, Afghanistan, you know, uh, Kazakhstan, you know, Israeli, Palestine, or Israel, or, or Palestine, something that nature. I don't know. Every, every woman of every range at all is saying to me when they get over in America, some of them want me to convert. Hit, hit at the joke, hit, hit if you get the reference. The thing is, it's like you all be, you all have your little quirks when you get over to America when dealing with me. So, in a sense, you ladies are all the same to me. Completely and utterly worthless to me. Equally. Across the board. Across the board, you're worthless to me. You may be you may be worth worth something to somebody else who's basically willing to accept the scraps. But I'm not I'm not gonna do the scraps. I would rather I would rather die of starvation than accept freaking scraps. Because it, 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 it ultimately it's going to end in the same thing. You're going to die of starvation. Either way, might as well take the express route. You know? That is why this is why I say that I am already dead. You know? I don't feel nothing for you. I don't feel absolutely nothing for you. Maybe if I were to go over somewhere else and actually see the woman over there, what they're like, I might actually feel something, but I feel absolutely nothing. I'm dead. I'm completely dead. So I didn't think I'd have to make another one of these videos, but hey, it is what it is. 
Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? I'm looking all around the freaking regional of the world. Oh, Israeli and Palestinian women. We need, like I said, first things foremost, you, one of you wants me to convert. Fat form a chance of that taken. And the other one doesn't like me. Well, both of you don't like me. One of you just wants me, one of you can, wants me to convert. To express that, to, to basically get the same result. When you get over here, you uh, you deal like I said, you get again, you deal with the Chad, you deal with the you deal with the Chad, everybody else. Sometimes hey, the occasional the occasional pookie who's going to poop, just so that you you can say that you have a negative experience with black men. And like I said, you're, you're, you're not like I said, you're, all your is all it is is basically you want a negative experience with black men, so that you can write the write everybody else off. That's all it is. You know I mean, no, nobody's gonna prove it wrong. Nobody's gonna prove it wrong. It's just what it is. It's like it's, it, it, it just happens, you know. Just, they, they just, just like it just happens when they freaking fall off on you, and Nate Johnson keeps repeatedly falling on into you multiple times until it finally burst open and freeze the free and freeze willies. It is what it is. It's just what it is. I'm not angry. I'm not bitter. I'm just basically accepting for what it is. You know, and that is why, and, and that is why a lot of men have got their passport and said, you know what, I'm not doing this for the strictly source. And it, sadly, sadly, they're ruining it for the rest of us, and basically, especially these rappers. Oh, which brings me on to another thing. Uh, you, you, a lot of you sent, a lot of you sent, uh, saying, my black queen, queen, my black queen, I shall worship. You, the ground that you walk on, <laughs> you're winning. <laughs> right. And you want me to basically take back my words about your black queen? Please, come on, dudes. You, for, for, let me tell you something here. When you got Tupac singing, every other city we go, every other video, no matter where I go, I see the same. On top of that, we have got, well, there's a song that has Snoop Dogg, Corrupt, Warren G, Nate Dogg, saying, it ain't no fun, my homies can't have none, it ain't no fun, but my homies can't have none. And y'all up here, and y'all up here, men and women, bumping this, uh, bumping, bumping this, nodding your heads, shaking your rear ends, shaking your tail feathers. To this, to this music, and then you got, and then you got, you can listen to Nicki Minaj saying the same thing as every other male rapper saying, "Whack, whack, whack, whack! Don't cook. Get a mop and a bucket for this whack. Get a freaking yeah, whatever. I don't cook, don't clean, but I got a whack. <laughs> You're winning. <laughs> give it, give this, get this person a cigar. You." You have won a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ha, ha, ha. Right. Like I said, why, 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 am I, why do I got to go in? Why do I got to be this vicious? Why do I got to be this mean? Why do I got to paint every woman in America, every morning woman in a Western country with a freaking masonry brush? Why do I got to paint every single woman with a masonry brush? Why do I got you know? Why do I gotta be that way? I, I don't want to be. I never wanted to be that way. But guess what? You, you created. You created. You made me. You're the one who made me. Why are you mad? Why are you angry? You created this this version of me. You created this version of me. One who was basically an ignorant, mean person. I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be. I didn't want to, I wanted to be a really decent person. But guess what? You didn't want that, you didn't allow it. So now I'm going to be exactly what I am, whether you like it or not. And you you just continue on being strong and independent. You continue on saying, I do not speak English. You continue listening to your family, your friends saying, listen to your mother, 
and you, you, your dad, your family, your friends say, you could you, you could be better, you, you continue to basically have your parents ruin your relationships because they don't approve your 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 your, your man's career choice. You keep you keep having at that, you, you know. You keep you keep pushing it. You'll do. You'll go very far in life, and you're gonna blame the dude. You're gonna and then I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna blame the dude that knocked you up. You know, because you didn't have the intestinal fortitude, especially if it was a decent man, because you didn't have the intestinal fortitude to stand up to your mother and your father and say, look. I, he, he is, I like this, I like his initiative, he's doing what he can. Go on, don't, don't, leave him be, let him, let's see where this goes. But guess what? You had to basically keep, you had, you had to basically listen to your mother and your father. And now, and now when, and now when he gets his business started, he gets his business, a business started up. Guess what? You're stuck on cold chuck. But hey, it's not like I know anything. I'm just a regular old Red Pill. This is Red Pill the Wind signing off.